Welcome to DIY Easy Crafts and BergKnifeMaking.com. Today we're going to take a look at just creating rough bevel groins using a tilt table bevel jig. Now this is not one of my complete videos that shows you know a build all the way through. I'm starting out with one of our standard Skinner blanks. These are 1095 high carbon steel blanks and we're just going to do the, the pre-heat treating rough bevel. really just want to demonstrate how easy it is. Now I use a uh, Oregon Blade Maker 2x72, which uh, might have to be powered by a, a two horsepower motor, uh, in conjunction with a tilt table bevel grinding jig. And the tilt table, all it does is you, you preset the angle that you want the bevel to be, and then you hold the blank flat against that table as you grind the bevel on each side. Um, this blank I've already uh, dike and blued the edge and I've scribed railroad track uh, center lines and all I'm doing is I'm using a uh, coarse grit belt this is a very small uh, Skinner blank I'm just using a 60 grit if it was a, a much larger knife I might start with a 36 uh, and then just finish it finish it down uh, to a 60 but for this little little knife it'll go fast enough on the 60 grit It doesn't take long, and I'm not being real particular um, about the starting point of the bevel or the bevel plunge. I'll match those up later. I'll just get them visually close now. All I'm concentrating on is that I'm grinding even along the scribed center line. And if I, if I find an area that is not even, that's a little bit too thick, I can spend a little bit more time in that area, or I can go back and just grind that area. As long as the, the finishing pass is kind of fluid, uh, the bevels come out nice. So here I'm just spending a little bit more time up towards the tip. It really is, you know, that easy to create these rough bevels. What was it about two, two and a half minutes per side? Now, I'll just show you the other side real quick. Again, I'm going to stay a little bit away from the plunge uh, or matching up the plunge line. I'll do that on, on the on the final couple of passes. I'll even those up a little bit. So I'm going to place the blade flat on the tilt table and then bring it up and into contact with the blade. Uh, the whole time I'm holding it, I'm holding you know, my thumb, uh, pressing that blank uh, flat against the table. You don't really want any wiggle or any wobble. And then for the curvature of the blade, I just use my thumb as a pivot point. You rotate the, the handle downward. As you get more proficient, you can increase the RPMs. But like I said before, this whole process does not take a lot of time. And the neat thing about it, or one of the neat things about it, is that you know if you leave the tilt table set at this angle, uh, then you go heat treat the knife. You can come back and do your cleanup, uh, clean up your bevels with a finer grade belt, very very easily. Um, if you have to change the angle on that tilt table, you can record what angle it was on with one of those little digital uh, angle meters and then just very, very easily reset it to that exact angle. So here we go. Probably about within four or five minutes total, uh, I've got rough bevels ground on both sides of this little Skinner blank. Like I said before, this was just a demonstration video. It's not one of my normal, uh, you know, complete builds. Just wanted to show you the basic process. This knife is basically now ready for heat treating, uh, and then it'll come back for the final bevels. I hope you enjoyed this short little video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel. 
Um, you can also join us on the web at DIYEasyCrafts.com, our Facebook group, Knives and Knife Making, and uh, by all means, check out my website, uh, www.bergknifemaking.com. Thank you very much.